What does a Lego man, Captain Kirk, Cyborg, Vision, Bender, and Frankenstein's monster all have in common? They all get together on Wednesday nights to keep the hot dog is a sandwich debate alive and well. Something else they all have in common, they have all been taken apart and put back together again at one time or another. Shoot me a comment if you thought they were going to have something else in common. I have a question for the public. If you could do a brain transplant swap with your best friend, would you? Follow up question. Who would you be after the transplant? You or your bestie? I don't have an answer for that question at this point in time, but I do have a thought experiment that originally troubled Plutarch in ancient Greece. Let's say you have a Lego man. You love this little guy, but you got to do the Lego thing. Ours is not to wonder why. Ours is but to Lego and die. So, over the course of a few weeks, you gradually swap each of his components for a new, identical one. At the end of a few months, there are no original parts remaining. The question asked becomes, is he still the same Lego man? Let's make it a little more interesting. What if the pieces that are swapped out are from a different set? He starts out as a construction man, but ends up as a clone trooper. What if we swap out the Lego man for a real man? All of the pieces that are swapped out are functionally identical to the base model, except that they are made of metal and cables. Eventually, his brain is swapped out with a fresh one that holds every single one of his original memories. Even that memory of his shoe being eaten by a rhinoceros at a ceramics museum downtown. Now what if we say that every piece of the man that was swapped out is immediately put on ice? After every piece has been removed, the original man is reassembled into his complete self. Now there are two versions one original and another not original but functionally identical. Which one is the real one? The original thought experiment is told using the like button and how hard to smash it. Wait, shoot, wrong script. The original story is told using a ship, the ship of Theseus, and chronicles what would happen if every plank of the old ship was swapped out for a new one over the course of 1000 years. This thought experiment is much more straightforward when thinking about an inanimate object. Is it the same ship, yes or no? If it's not the same, when did it change and go from one to the other? It becomes much less straightforward when you add in a consciousness, or even just change the material that the ship is made out of as the swaps are made. Swap the wood out for rubber and see what happens. This philosophy example does a lot to teach us about the persistence of identity. What is it about me that continues being me even after I've undergone extreme life changes? Can we survive gradual change? Am I still the same YouTuber after subscribing to Bobtastic? Or are we different people after 20 years of hard life changes? 20 years of losing at Tetris will really do a number on a guy. On a cellular level, we are definitely not the same, even down to our individual brain cells. So what is it about you that makes you Anderson Braffstofferson? Will that thing that makes you you continue to make you you forever? If that question starts keeping you up at night, just watch this video right here. It probably won't be on the same topic, but it will almost certainly distract you from that existential dread that likes to do the creep creep on the reg.